Congressional Republicans are now distancing themselves from a bipartisan proposal that's meant to clamp down on illegal border crossings. Last night, the Senate released a $118 billion package for border enforcement policy, as well as aid for Ukraine, Israel, and other allies. Tonight, our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live in studio. Mitch, the bill has received intense backlash from conservatives who say the border policy isn't good enough. Megan Lucas, I spoke with Congressman Mark Alford earlier this afternoon, who argues that the House Republicans already did their job by passing H.R. 2, a bill that makes a number of changes to immigration law, like limits on asylum eligibility. He says the Biden administration could easily close the border if they wanted to. On Sunday, U.S. Senators unveiled a bill that aims to combat illegal immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border and allow for new aid to Ukraine and Israel. Never, Leader McConnell and I, who disagree on many issues, have never worked so closely together on legislation as we did on this because we both realized the gravity of the situation. The Senate is expected to vote on the bill this week. The House Republicans are already rejecting the proposal. It's quite simple, secure the border. Anything less than securing the border, we're not voting yes for it. The legislation includes $118 billion worth of support for Ukraine Israel and the southern border. What they tried to build Noah's Ark to get everything on this one lifeboat. It's more like the Titanic right now. This is a shipwreck that is going nowhere in the U.S. House. Migrant encounters on the southern border were on the rise before President Joe Biden took office, but hit a record high under his administration. The Department of Homeland Security says since January of 2021, more than 6.3 million immigrants have been detained crossing into the U.S. illegally. In December of 2022, the backlog of asylum applicants was nearly 1.6 million. Part of the bill mandates a complete shutdown of the border if migrant crossings surpass 5,000 in one week. This means migrants who arrive illegally would no longer be able to request asylum and would be deported shortly after. Part of the issue at the border is most migrants find it difficult to enter the United States through the legal ports of entry. The majority of immigrants who cross the border must wait for a court date so they can make a case for asylum, which can take multiple years. Mitchell, thank you. Last night, Governor Mike Parson returned from a trip to the southern border. He says Missouri is going to answer Texas Governor Greg Abbott's call to send more resources to help.